Warning, the following video might contain some moments that might not be suitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. With Hardcore and Souls Over's release earlier this year, I tried looking for a copy of one of the original games, Crystal, to buy online. I haven't played this game in at least 70 years. It strangely went missing when I moved house as a kid. I saw the cart on eBay. There wasn't much information or even a picture, but it had no postage and packaging price and only cost a dollar. So I was hardly losing anything if it didn't really exist. When the game arrived, it wasn't in its original box, box, but instead, the cartridge one was just wrapped up. It looked like a car crystal cartridge as it was shiny, slightly see-through, and blue. But I lacked the sticker in which the game title is print on. However, I still put it in my Game Boy Advance SP. I switched the handheld on. There was a loud beeping sound. Then the game began as normally. Once the menu screen was open, the only option was new game, as it had never been played. The card didn't, sure didn't seem to be in that condition through, so I clicked new game. Instead of starting out with the processor's speech, it skipped straight to somewhere that didn't exist in these games, or at least it looked like the place. It was the Pokemon Mansion from the original games. The Pokemon Mansion on Cinnabar Island, the, the same Cinnabar Island that nowhere exists. I was a girl character, as I wanted to be, but I had no choice in this. On close inspection, her hair seemed a different color from what I originally remember. It was a dark purple, and she did also didn't have her hat in any longer. I walked around the building. It wouldn't let me up the stairs. The only other the only other thing was a bed. I walked towards it, and a scientist came along. He told me to rest. So I laid on the bed. The screen suddenly twinched, went pitch black. It stayed this way for a while. Before this transition, there was pure silence. But after, but after, there was a there was loud, high pitched noises, which almost sound like screams. It was hard to tell through as the as the sound was eight was an eight bit. When my character woke up, the place was the place was covered in patches of red blood. The character herself was drenched in it too. I tried to walk around, but I couldn't. Sizes seemed to have disappeared. Seemed to have disappeared, also. I pressed all of the buttons to try and get something to work. And on pressing select, my character walked out of bed. Only she was still in the bed bed at the same time. And unlike before, instead of walking, she appeared to float. I pressed start, and my character turned into a ghost Pokemon's menu sprite. This shocked me slightly. I walked out of the door, and when I suddenly took ported into Lavender Town. There, in the middle of town, was a gravestone. I clicked the A button to check it. It said, R.I.P. Crystal. I opened my menu and looked at my trainer card. I the, tra the sprite of the trainer had turned into that of a mischievous, and as, through, and as I threw, the player's, player, the player's name was Crystal. So I just came up to the tombstone and suddenly disappeared. It seemed to run at twice the speed of a normal game character. My character went out my control, floated after him, as soon as she entered a patch of grass. A random encounter appeared, only this encounter was hardly random. <clears throat> the Pokemon was Mewtwo. Instead of attacking, a few lines were written. You let them get you? The new crystal? There was a yes and no option. I, cl I just clicked no, as I was unsure of what was going on. Don't lie to me. I can see what they did. Look at yourself. After this, the game paused for a few seconds, then the battle continued. You're just an object of science, like me. I'm not real, and neither are you. You are just made out of a tiny bit of DNA from somewhere else. When you weren't perfect, they kill you. Would you like to seek revenge? I clicked no again, and I was sent back to the field, with me to still following my character. I walk until the scientists appear again, and suddenly, my bag is green came up with the only item there being knife. I clicked it I clicked it and press use. Suddenly the screaming noise appeared again, the screen went black. Suddenly the screaming got louder and more frequent. When it stopped, I was in the radio tower, a text box appeared. When did they destroy our home? We were meant to be here. Everyone who destroyed our home who destroyed our home is gone. Everyone in the world is gone. We killed them all. We got revenge like you. Now all the world is gone. Suddenly the screen went white, with my character still there. Everything is gone. You also kill us. You're the only one left. 
Why do we kill people? Why do you help? Now you must get what you deserve. I get it was place maybe a patch of blood. But then the game froze. I have never picked up the cart this cartridge again. It gave me nightmares. So that was Crystal Hack, a Pokemon creepypasta, and my thoughts on it it's kind of fine. You know, it just felt a bit kinda it has like kind of suffered from like multiple cliches from a Pokemon creepypasta, you know, like uh all all the characters acting wrong, uh oh uh, there's like a Pokemon that wasn't meant to be there. Oh there's some like uh other creepypasta stuff that's going on in the in the game and all that but, you know it has potential it has potential to be pretty good and you know the i think the last bit of the whole monologue from uh <clears throat> possibly from mewtwo i guess is kind of rather grim like you know like everyone in the world is gone like damn this is kind of like uh the i am legend type of situation but but you know i am legends did that better than this creepypasta, so, yeah, and, <clears throat> and for now, um, you know, the other cliche is, like, the, whole, the, the protagonist is, like, a way to just, like, one of the, you know, play the new, play the game that he hasn't played for a while, for example, like, Crystal, you know, this is kind of typical for a Pokemon creepypasta, such that they, and either a remake or a new game coming out, and, especially the protagonist wants to revisit the, one of the old games, and that, so, there's that. But yeah, it's a pretty fine creepypasta, but it could have been better, but yeah. And you guys, uh, hope you enjoyed this, uh, creepypasta reading video. Uh, like and comment this video and subscribe for content. This is Mr. Petty here, and I hope you have a very good night, so, or day, if you're watching this in the morning and afternoon time, so, bye.